Good morning, my honey. Good morning. Yeah, hello from Midlife Travel Tales. And we're now in Belito, which is on the Dolphin Coast of South Africa. A very beautiful popular tourist spot. Too. Yeah, very, very, very popular. And it's uh, got a lot. We've just been watching all the, the whales jumping out. Yeah, it's the season now where you see the whales. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, so it's a little bit windy today, but you can see some of the beach. We're just going to wander around Belito and uh, we'll show you a bit of the Dolphin Coast in this video. And uh, join us in our, in our home country. Say right on the beach, and then I'll show you the beach now. There's Cindy, and the beach is right here. Look at that! Just look at that. It's a little bit, as I said, a little bit windy today, but that's where you come and sit, where you come and swim, watch the whales. We've been watching dolphins, a lot of sea life in this area as well. Yeah, look at those waves, great for surfing, great place for diving. There's more flats all along here. Last week they had the World Championships here. Yeah, the they World Surfing, surfing uh, the, the Mr. Price Pro. Yeah, it's, with the, all the World Champion surfers were here. Yeah, yeah, so that was here for what, two weeks or yeah, a week? two weeks. So it is a great place, Belita, part of the Dolphin Coast in KwaZulu Natal. So yeah, we are just walking along the Belito Promenade, and he has a little coffee place we're going to go to. Here near the Clark Bay Lifesavers building. Cindy's going to go and do the order us some coffees. And then that's going to be our, our view. Now that'll be it. Three here. Let's get three here. That'll be our view. That's where the houses are right behind me. A look at that, right on the beach here. It's beautiful. So, Mahani, how much did uh, those coffees cost us? Uh, an Americano. One dollar fifty. One dollar fifty. So in rand, how much is it? Uh, Thirty rand. Thirty rand. So it's really cheap here. And in, and a cappuccino was about one dollar seventy. So you got a americano, and I got a cappuccino. Very very nice. Yeah. So South Africa is really good on the budget. Yeah, especially for Europeans and Americans. And look where we're sitting, and look at our view. So it's quite amazing. So Mahani, Salt Rock Hotel is one of our favorite places. Yeah, it's been here a long time. It's been here a long yeah. time, hey? It's well known in the area. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how old it is, but it has been a long time. It does yeah. great food. And you'll see the views are fantastic. Yeah, it's a lovely lovely, lovely spot. Definitely an old grand hotel. It's got the big old fireplaces. Lovely inside here. And we're going outside. We want to go and sit and have some breakfast and enjoy the day. And uh, we love this place. So there's a... Salt Rock's a really popular place nowadays on the coast. A lot of people come to Livia now, but it's also still a great place to come for holidays. Wonderful beaches. Look at the beach. Uh, let's look at the beach. Absolutely beautiful. And there's a tidal pool as well. So there's the tidal pool. Let's zoom up there. And look at the waves today. Lovely. You'll probably see some whales from up here as well. What a great spot. Hey, my honey, are you happy there? You sure you don't want? To, I, would, I would sit on the other side here. It's nice in the sun. It's nice in the sun. Look at that! Look at that view. Right? Hey. And here's the hotel. And here's the hotel over here. That's what it looks like from the front. This is the newer section, but that's the rooms. Stunning, stunning sea views and all of that kind of stuff. And uh, there's yeah. yours. And, and it's, uh, I need to give you the cost. So yeah. This kind of breakfast in South Africa will cost you about just over 60 Rand, which is about three US dollars. Yeah. And the coffee is also is about uh, one uh, about, 30 Rand, which about is one and a half. Yeah, one and a half uh, US dollars. Yeah, one and a half US dollars. So very so. cheap for uh, you guys. Yeah, and a, co a coffee is a, is a cappuccino or a express, Americana. yeah, Americano, anything like that. So it's great. We're going to eat our breakfast and then we'll show you some more. The, the hotel's got lovely gardens. It's an absolutely gorgeous day, eh? Stunning. And this is the middle of winter. This is winter. And, and it's probably 25, <laughs> 26 degrees. I think it's 24 today, but it can go up to 27 in winter here. Yeah, and it's absolutely beautiful. So there's Cindy in front of me. But uh, Salt Rock is a lovely little town. And uh, I really love it. It's north of Durban, about 40 minutes, just north of Belito. And uh, nice, quiet little town. Beautiful uh, beaches. Uh, nice places to stay. So I really recommend Salt Rock. And... Uh, yeah, it's just a lovely little place to come. The one thing about Natal along the coast, it's all about the beaches. Uh, that's the main thing. And because the weather is so fantastic all, it's, all year round, um, it's a great place to stay.
Right here on the beach is a campground. Look at this. What a place to set up your tent or your caravan. Look where Cindy is. Hello, Marnie. Right on the beach. Right on the beach. So if you're into camping, this is a great place. It's right by the hotel, so you've got all the... could probably go there for lunch and supper yeah, and whatever and, else. And you could probably use their facilities, the pool. Yeah. And look at the waves today. The waves are big today, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's high tide. He has a lovely tidal pool. Lovely. Huge, big tidal pool. And the water here is warm, so you don't have to worry about it being cold. The water's uh, well over 20 degrees. And then if you go down there, there's uh, Belito and that down, down there. And yeah, she is the gorgeous woman of the moment as well, enjoying the sunshine. And just one thing to say, yes. is that Durban's water is way warmer than the, than the Cape. Yeah, I was just saying the that. The Cape so, is freezing water. Yeah, yeah, you can swim all year round. Yeah. There, right on the beach, is the Salt Rock Hotel. So that's what it looks like from the front. And then you just, you are literally right here. Wow. Look at that. So this is also timeshare, but it is also part of the hotel. Yes. And there's a kitchen and the dining room. So two bedroom. So is it a two bedroom? Yeah. Two bedroom. There's the toilet and bathroom. The rooms are a nice size, lovely views. Look at the view. And then they've just allowed us in to show you kind of what the rooms are like right on the front. Right, right. Oh, there's two wow. There's two oh, so there's another bathroom there. And look at that view. Elan right here. Yeah. Get good value for uh, money in South Africa. And there's a second bathroom. With a bath. Oh, this has got a bath as they well. And the other bath. one's got a shower. Yeah. Well, what do you think of the rooms? It's fancier yeah. than anything we've well, come across. It's very, well, much better than what we stayed in. Yeah. So we'll go and find out the price and let you guys know what the, what the, the price prices are. Stay here. So that uh, room we just looked at is only 1,500 Rand a night. Which is about 75 US dollars so, per 75 night. US dollars per night and it sleeps six. Six people. So you can have two in each bedroom and, and then two, couch. and there's a sleeper couch, yeah. yeah. So, so that's <laughs> 75 US is, and you're right pretty. on the beach. It's quite it's quite a brilliant price. Yeah. So uh, yeah, come to Salt Rock. This is Thompson's Bay Beach. As I said before, it is rough today. Big waves. There's a cold front coming. But our favorite beach is in fact not here. It's through there. It is a it's a blue flag beach, which uh, is a good thing in South Africa. <laughs> One thing you'll notice in South Africa, a lot of the places there's uh, bathing areas just because the seas are slightly dangerous, and that's where the lifeguards look after you. So there's specific bathing areas. You can't just swim anywhere. So that's where the, the flags are. And there's Cindy. The other thing about swimming in South Africa, especially in KwaZulu-Natal, there are sharks. But there are shark nets. But yeah, there, <laughs> there, there are, are shark, shark nets. nets. Shark nets keep the sharks out. So uh, yeah, there hasn't been a shark attack in KZN for many a year. Yeah, no, we swim here all the time in the beach. Yeah, very safe. Yeah, we are walking to in the Wall. Good morning. How are you? Here's one of the lifeguards. How are you doing today? I'm good. Is it, eh? Everything safe? Big, but big seas, eh? Yeah, the waves big, are too big. The waves are too big today. Yeah. Thanks, man. Have a good day. Okay, thank you. What did you say? They're cormorants. Oh, look at the cormorants. Yeah. Cormorants swimming right here. They're there, the cormorants. That's the one thing around South Africa. You'll see life everywhere. Lots of wildlife, lots of birds. And we've actually brought our snorkels and goggles here. Oh yeah, there's lovely fish in here as well. You can snorkel here. Yeah. In this tidal pool. This is a tidal pool, but you see how the waves come in. It gets fresh seawater every day. It really is a lovely place. See how big those waves are. Wow. There, even from the, the top here, you can see some of the corals and that that grow here. Some of the life along the edges. It does get damaged a bit with people swimming in here, but it's still lovely, beautiful yeah. fish. Let's just wait for it. Should be, yeah, here comes a nice big one. Watch it, watch it, gonna come over the top. Yeah, there we go, lovely. Wow! It's the entrance to our favorite beach. It's called Hole in the Wall. Yeah, and I'm, am I gonna wander through? You're going through. Yeah, Cindy <laughs> said I'm going through today. I, I have jeans on. <laughs> this is where we come. This is our favorite, it's like our secret spot. Uh, you gotta be a little bit careful here. I might not go the whole way because I'm holding onto a phone. As well, this is our secret beach. Let's see, I'm walking here. Okay. Look at that. We enjoy the 
the quietness and the solitude. There's a guy on the rocks there, but look how lovely this spot is. It's like a hidden spot. Yeah, this is one of our favorite places. And then I'll show you where I've just come from. Along here. There's Cindy back there. She's a bit nervous to walk here today because the sea is a bit rough. Yeah, there comes the waves. But there, there she is. Hello, my honey. Look at that, there she's waving. And yeah, this is so spectacular, yeah. Just amazing, I love this place. They traveling uh, South Africa, they're from the Netherlands. And guys, are you enjoying, uh, in you enjoying your trip? Oh, we are more than enjoying it. It's yeah, really, really beautiful. fantastic. Is it, yeah. eh? Beautiful country. Yeah. We love every single second. And you've enjoyed the game reserves and yes. all the different sites. There's so much, so many different things to see in South Africa, right? Yeah. yeah. That's the sea make... and the game and... Yeah. So would you recommend for people to come to South Africa on holiday? For sure, for sure. For There's sure. no hesitation from our side. We had a little bit hesitation because of after Corona period. Yeah. Now, once we are here, we never experienced a single second of yeah, fear or something like that. Okay. Except for when we were beautiful. close to the very uh, nice uh, cheetah or the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good time to feel fear. Yeah. No, what, we were felt safe. Well, I'm glad you felt safe. I'm glad you're enjoying South Africa. And uh, yeah, thank you for allowing us to chat to you. Yeah. Bangkok is 7,429 kilometers away, my honey. We love Bangkok. There's New York, Maputo, Zanzibar. Still got to get there. And, uh, but the one thing you'll notice about um, Belito is you get restaurants right on the beach. So you get beautiful restaurants with stunning sea views. From here you can see whales and dolphins. Hey, Mani? Yeah, it's I amazing. I can't see any today, but we have seen them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the other day we, when we were walking along the beach, oh, we nice. saw them, yeah. It was absolutely lovely. This is just across the road from the beach. There's a little shopping center here. Just a really lovely place, a little cafe so you can sit and have coffee. Everywhere. Really lovely here, Miney. Nice town. It really is, yeah. So is about uh, half an hour from Durban? Yeah, about half an hour. And it's a great town. It used to be a small fishing village uh, when I was a kid. Not many people lived here. People used to just come on a holiday. But it's really uh, been developed now. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a major tourist uh, attraction in Durban where people come and stay here on holiday a lot. Yeah, and a lot and of people here. have moved here and yeah. businesses have opened here. It's really a it's booming growing, place. It's, yeah. a, it's a booming town. It's really developing, uh, it's growing and growing all the time. And it is a beautiful place. This is one of the malls up the, up the hill. We're just going to take a little wander through. There are lots of coffee shops again. Lots of uh, restaurants, Cindy said. Lots of interesting shops, all the best big, big shops, best shops. Outdoor cafes, because South Africa is very much outdoorsy because uh, of the lovely weather. And just, uh, yeah, look at this. See all the umbrellas out there. Real cafe culture, coffee culture. So you can find bars, you can find everything you're looking at. Watch the rugby, the soccer, little bakeries. Quite fun. Quite, imagine it being quite festive, eh? Lovely bar area. Lovely bar area. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a brewery here as well. They even have like a food court here. So you've got lots of little shops. Open, open eating area. Very nice. Grand Exotic. It's a lovely little uh, restaurant and uh, coffee shop. Very unique. I love the the old Indian theme. A very big in expatriate uh, Indian population in South Africa. So we have a, a lot of, especially in KwaZulu Natal, and in this area. But look at this, the Grand Exotic. Look at the old cars. So we're going to come here for a cup of coffee and show you guys around. As you walk in, it's got a lovely theme. People sitting around. Just a lovely little coffee shop. Restaurant. Very popular. There's a shop through there. We'll have a look at that just now. I'm just wandering through. I love the old corrugated paneling. Reminds me a lot of India having been there. And then just lovely gardens. Look at the gardens. Old bicycle hanging. We have started eating our cake before we videoed it. It was a nice big piece of cheesecake. We share it. We sharing. Thank goodness we're sharing. Because it's too big. And it, uh, that cost us about one, Six, sixty-two rand. Yeah, which is about one. Uh, no. One, one US dollar. Three dollars. No, sorry, three US dollars. Yeah, three US dollars. And the coffee is. Is is, is about uh, thirty one, rand. One yeah, one dollar. 
$1.50. But, and you get to sit in this most incredible, incredible space. Just lovely, absolutely gorgeous. And they got a cool shop here as well. Lots of colors, lots of old signs. Just really, such, such a lovely feel, eh, money. Be taking a break on the car chair. How cool is that, money? Yeah. And you got a horse overlooking you. My name's Alana. Hello, this Alana. Is Big Tree Africa. Yeah. And yeah, we just love to serve community, celebrate creativity and community. We had to serve. And why should people come here to the Lychee Orchard? Have a look at this. <laughs> there's some beautiful yeah, stuff. There's some beautiful so stuff. There's a coffee shop and a. Yeah. And we serve. We we are a family-run business. Okay. And we love supporting small local businesses. Okay, so great. It's small local creatives that uh, we bring them here and we sell their stuff for them. People that couldn't have a shop on their own. Yeah. And so we love to create an environment, a platform for small businesses to grow. That's no, fantastic. awesome. Well, it was really nice meeting you. Huh? So lovely meeting okay, you okay. too. Cheers, guys. Yeah. So this is a shop at the Lychee Orchard, and uh, yeah, it's just got a great feel and. Uh, I've got to hold Cindy back. She's going to try and buy stuff, but we, but we, we don't have a home yet. <laughs> so here's the, the outdoor space at the Lychee Orchard. There's a little bit of construction happening, but what a lovely space. Cindy says she feels like she's on holiday again, and we are on holiday. We're always on holiday, my honey. A holiday in our own home. A holiday in our own home. What a lovely space, eh? Lovely people as well. So how have you enjoyed our adventure around Belito and Salt Rock? It's been lovely and uh, been nice to reconnect to these places we haven't been to for so long. Yeah. And some new places, which has been great. So, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, all you guys who are watching will one day come here because it really is beautiful. Yeah. And the Dolphin Coast, we've seen whales and dolphins, and it's just, it's just beautiful. It's and just, even in winter. And the people are super, super friendly. <laughs> Very friendly. Hi there. This is Dane from uh, Midlife Travel Tales. We just like to thank you all for watching the video. Please remember to like, to share, to subscribe. And just continue watching our video and supporting our channel. Thank you.